guys and welcome to my world my name is alexa fanchette and today we are going to talk about shifting your relationship with failure i know a lot of people have fear of failure so they don't go after the things that they want and i really want to help you guys get over your fear of failure one of my favorite questions to ask people is what would you do if you wouldn't fail i think you just need to sit on that question what would you do if you wouldn't fail and whatever that is, you should go do that. Fear of failure should not be the reason you don't go after the things you want in life. You are worthy and you deserve everything you want. Nothing is too big for you. You should live your dreams. I think another important question to ask yourself is what is failure? All failure is, is an undesirable outcome. That's it. Don't make it this big thing that is just going to totally ruin your life because it won't. It is a moment that will pass. It is an undesirable outcome. It didn't work out, okay? You move on. You'll find another way. Failure does not define you. Only you have the power to define you. Don't let the outcome of one event define who you are or disregard everything that you are. Failure is not a person. It is an event. It is a moment that will pass. I promise you'll get through it. It is momentary. It's okay to fail. Don't get me wrong. I believe in taking calculated risk, but sometimes you just have to go for the gold and go for it all. And the bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. It is okay to fail. You don't have to be fearless. My puppy says that I'm fearless, but that's not true. I just let my fears drive me towards my dreams instead of away from them. I'm more afraid of letting my fears control me, and I'm way more afraid of not being everything I could be. So it's okay to be afraid. It's just what you do with that fear that matters that's going to make a difference in how your life turns out. I'm more afraid of being mediocre. Mediocrity is just not an option for me. If it's not extraordinary, then what's the point? Believe in yourself to fail. Know no matter what the outcome of the situation is, that you're going to be okay. There are multiple ways to your dream. And it's not over until you decide it is. The only thing that is final is death. Be brave. Be brave enough to try. Be brave enough to ask. If you never try, you'll never know. If you never ask, the answer will always be no. Be brave enough to try something new, even if you look foolish. It's okay to make mistakes while learning. A question you need to ask yourself is, are you afraid of failure or are you really afraid of what people will think if you fail? Because that's like a whole nother issue. You don't need to allow people's thoughts to dictate how you live your life. Because in the end of the day, they're going to judge you anyway. And this is your life. You get one shot, you get one take. So don't let the opinions of others control you. Failure shapes you. Failure is where the lessons are learned. Failure is necessary. It showcases your areas of opportunity. It makes you stronger. It makes you wiser. And it makes you resilient. And you're going to need all those factors going into whatever your dream is. Because the universe and God will test you. Inevitably. And you need those characteristics to get through it. Focus on the win. Nobody really ever remembers how many times you fail. It took Thomas Edison 10,000 tries to invent the light bulb, but nobody really knows or cares that he, it took that many tries. All they care about is that he did it. All the greats fail. If you never fail, then you've never gone after anything great. Stop running from failure. Embrace it. Learn from it. Just understand that it's just another step in the process. There is a no glory in playing small. So go be great. That's it for me, you guys. Let me know if this video was helpful. Leave me a comment below. 
thank you guys so much for watching. You could be anywhere in the world, but you are here with me and I am honored. I love you so much. See you later.